Rembrandt van Rijn, born on July 15, 1606, in Leiden, Dutch Republic, which is now the Netherlands. Rembrandt's portraits of his contemporaries, self-portraits, and illustrations of scenes from the Bible are regarded as his greatest creative works. His biblical works consist of more works from the New Testament rather than the Old Testament. Rembrandt was known mostly for his portraits and self-portraits. He created a total of 90 self-portraits that included paintings, etchings, and drawings. What's astonishing about this is that artists usually only create a half of self-portraits. His technique was to use himself in the portraits to gain fame, knowing that people would see them because of the detail and expressions portrayed. Also because no one else creates 90 self-portraits. Here are some of his portraits and self-portraits. His portraits were also very popular because of the facial expressions. Not many in his time would include so much detail to the paintings. Rembrandt worked a lot with tenderism. A great example of this is his painting, The Night Watch. The Night Watch was created in 1642. It is one of the most famous paintings of the Dutch Golden Age. The medium is oil on canvas and the dimensions are 11 feet 11 inches by 14 feet 14 inches. Its location is in the Amsterdam Museum. To be able to make it fit through the doors, they had to cut pieces off of the painting. On the left side, they cut several figures out and they trimmed all around the painting. We see a group of people which looks like a militia because of the weapons and flags. It looks as if they are leaving or returning from a battle. As you can see, most of the people in the painting are men, except for a woman that is holding a chicken. On the left side, we see that there are people holding rifles and spears. In the center, we see the man holding the yellow and blue flag. There's a woman with a chicken, a man behind that seems to be the leaders of the group firing his rifle, another man blowing residual gun problem from his firing pan, and more members with weapons. We see that the two men in the center are communicating, the one on the left is extending his arm as in leading the way. On the right hand side we see a drummer, a dog that seems to not like the drummer at all, men talking, and behind them seems to be more men with spears. In the night watch, there is a mixture of geometric lines and organic lines. Geometric lines are used for the weapons, flags, and background. Organic lines are used in most of the other objects. He also uses his value to guide your eye to where he wants you to put more attention to. Texture in the night watch varies. Towards the objects in the front, the texture happens to be rough due to layers of paint and the strokes. The objects in the background are left smoother. This was called the three-dimensional effect. He applied rough brushwork to objects towards the front, for example on the drummer, the lieutenant's clothing, and the captain's collar. Going towards the background, he will leave the texture smoother. The Night Watch is a very large painting, but yet everything is so compact. It only looks like that because of the modifications that they made to it. Originally, it was not intended to look like that. 
There's a lot of overlapping used. We know that in the location that they are in, it is very large because of its composition. The location is said to be a church because militias have held meetings at churches. In this painting, there's asymmetrical balance. The people look evenly spread out. The emphasis in the night watch is in the front. These figures contrast from all the other ones. It portrays their importance, the two men being the leaders and the lady being the only woman in the painting. Movement in the night watch happens in the same area as emphasis. This happens due to the use of color and value. Since their value is different from all the other figures, it catches our attention. All the figures are well scaled. It also helped Rembrandt that the figures painted in the night watch are almost life size, so he had some sort of guidance to how big or small to draw something. In the black and red sash is the captain. The colors of his clothing represent the colors of Amsterdam red, black, and white. He is named Franz Banning. To his right is the lieutenant named Willem van Rudenberg, which is dressed in yellow and white sash. The painting shows Captain Franz giving the order to march, which then the drummer starts drumming. The drummer causes the dog to cringe in fright. Rembrandt didn't portray them in formation, he painted them in a natural moment. All other militia portraits were painted when they were in formation. It said that Rembrandt always liked being different, and he demonstrated that with his collection of 90 self portraits. The militia protects Amsterdam, that is why they have their weapons. There are men loading, firing, and cleaning their weapons. The colors worn represent wealth. For example, the man dressed in red is from the wealthy middle class. Red was popular in military use and the wealthy middle class represented that at the time. The others are of a wealthier class and that's why they aren't wearing red. Rembrandt mixes it up in the Night Watch. He used contemporary and modern weapons and outfits. The weapons, spears, were not used at the time anymore because they had firearms. And outfits, the helmets, the helmets were not used in battle. They are shown by the other members wearing hats. Due to cropping of the artwork, the effect that this caused was that it makes the composition look more crowded than originally intended. It also makes friends and the lieutenant look as if they are falling out of the artwork since they are right on the edge now. The extra space that had once been there actually made it look like Captain France was actually leading the way for the rest. Many things happen to this painting in fact. For example, in one occasion sulfuric acid was purposely applied to the painting. It caused some damage, but it did not penetrate the varnish. The biggest damage done to the painting occurred when a school teacher attacked the painting with a knife. There are other effects due to cleaning. They have cleaned the night wash so much that the paint is wearing off. Skin tones are barely visible. But the part that looks the most affected is the dog. Here is my artwork. I tried to do something similar to what Rembrandt did in his painting with the use of contemporary and modern objects. I went around my house looking for things that would be called contemporary as of today. It was very difficult to find modern objects though, since we do everything with technology. Some of these things might still be used today, but not really. They are outdated.